Hungry grackles and other birds are invading the Austin Convention Center, stealing food meant for banquets. So today, the city council okayed a three-year, $180,000 contract with a company that will trap the birds humanely and release them away from the convention center. But new at nine, Jim Swift tells us how local businesses who cannot afford that high-dollar approach are coming up with their own get rid of the grackles techniques. Okay, be careful. You'll be on. Back. Done. The grackle problem in downtown Austin is not new. Almost three years ago, at the height of the birds' fall migration, we reported on the grief they were causing merchants, residents, and visitors in the area. It just really turns your stomach when you have to walk through that every day of the week. You know, for the last year and a half, we've just noticed that uh, birds have recognized the fact that we have really delicious food inside, <laughs> just like everyone else. And, um, you know, we had some birds that would uh, sneak past the doors and um, just found it became a problem. Now, the downtown Whole Foods Market is fighting and apparently winning its own war on the Grackle Kingdom. How you doing, man? What we found is uh, what works best is having a smiling team member. They're waving a flag, and I think the birds realize that... Uh, this isn't a place for them to come in. Of course, this being Austin, not everyone is totally thrilled with the idea. Check out the comment board at Whole Foods. One customer wrote, I would love to have eaten my food without Kathy swatting the birds with a bar towel. Seriously, is this part of her job description? Way to be one with nature. You get a little of both sides, but, but our, you know, what we've seen and what we've heard has been a huge... Uh, appreciation. Meanwhile, over at the downtown Austin Java coffee shop, construction racket across the street is bringing a temporary respite from a daily grackle invasion. It is not expected to last. Normally at 11 o'clock, it doesn't really matter if nobody's here yet or not. They just kind of sweep in. And it's not just the grackles. Pigeons, too, are regular customers at the cafe. And both can be a pain in the butt. Even worse, a pain from the butt. I've even seen a bird sit there while this dude was like reading something and eating, and he stopped eating for a minute, and the bird flies over, grabs his French toast, and starts to fly off with it. <laughs> it's not good for business. <laughs> time for heavy artillery. The first time we used it, they're like, wah, and fly away. And they stay away for minutes at a time. And so you have time to clear the table, and you can hand them to people and say, will you help protect us from the birds? And they love it. But water pistols or no, grackles being grackles, they'll be bombed. Jim Swift, KXAN, Austin News.